Hi, this is Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. I had an entirely different Reflections <laughs> done already today um, about uh, polar opposites and things, but I just couldn't, I wasn't comfortable. I just couldn't get it out of my mind. Uh, on Saturday, my friend Cindy Reed and I attended the Iowa Straw Poll you've heard about uh, so much in the news. Uh, it's not. I'm not a terribly political person by any means, but I was so drawn to go to this event. It, it was in Ames, Iowa, it's kind of in the middle of our state, and I uh, had never done anything like that before. Another reason that drew me is I, I really am a supporter of Ron Paul. I feel of all the people out there, uh, he is speaking more truth. I don't agree with all his views, certainly, um, but the majority of the things that are affecting our, our country and our planet right now, um, somehow he speaks, he speaks a reality that speaks to my heart. And I was so, uh, we were, I'll, t I'll say me, because I don't want to speak for Cindy. Uh, we arrived and we did a little, uh, we knew we were doing some grid work, so we found a little park nearby the event and we did a little ceremony, the two of us, and on we went. And I just have to explain this to you if you can pick up the vibration. We walked into a sea, sea of people. They said 17,000. I'm sure there was way more than that. Uh, but a sea of people and, and news media had, had quite a presence. And the first uh, place we walked into from where we entered uh, was the um, a Republican, well, they were all Republicans, candidate Pawlenty, Tim Pawlenty from Minnesota, and he had a sea of people in green t-shirts and uh, uh, buses coming with more people getting off, so it was quite a presence. He had famous Dave's Barbecue there, and, and you can music, bagpipers, things were happening, but we could also, we were attracted elsewhere, and uh, we, we then sought out uh, the Ron Paul area, which was uh, equally as alive with red t-shirts, like Christmas, huh? <laughs> green and the red, uh, the supporters of Ron Paul with um, lots of great uh, music and people dancing around and food and um, it was a, a great, a great experience. And we were guided and led. We got and we get, we wanted to vote, right? Now, I always thought that it was maybe just whoever showed up or I wasn't sure how they did it. I will tell you, they do an actual voting process. And you, you have to get a ticket to go in to register to vote. You have to show your Iowa driver's license. And then you wait in another line uh, to get in to vote. And there are ballots just like you get in any normal election. You go into your private booth, you mark your ballot, and then there's the machines where uh, you put your ballots in. Um, I was pretty impressed because I, I wasn't thinking it was that um, advanced. So uh, my friend Cindy and I, in the process of doing our group work and going from one line to the other line and waiting in a few lines that weren't where we needed to be and all that, we we pretty well saw the whole layout of the uh, straw poll event at the universe, Iowa State University in Ames, Iowa. And uh, so we checked out the other candidates' tents, um, Kane. Um, I can't remember Henry Henry Kane I think uh, his tent and um, Centauri Rick Centauri had, had had somewhat of a presence there um, and we were looking for we were looking for Michelle Bachman also from Minnesota Tea Party Kennedy we could we did go by her area but I will tell you in all the walking around they had orange T-shirts. In all the walking around we did, we saw very, very, very little evidence of Michelle Bachman. People, you know, because all the volunteers were all walking around holding up signs, big signs for their candidates. I mean, if if you were a candidate there, it, it must have been unmistakable, right? We saw very little um, energy response, anything uh, to indicate buttons, hats, um, every now and again, very, very minimal. And the deal was that uh, after you voted, you could take your stamp ticket into the Coliseum and listen to the speeches. We heard three of the five candidates speak. We did not hear Michelle Bachman. 
But uh, in that, uh, it's where Iowa State plays basketball in that Coliseum, and I believe it seats 20,000, 15 to 20,000. And it was fairly pretty much full. And then, of course, outside, you had all the tents and the music and the food and people speaking and, and all kinds of booze for wind energy and all kinds of things. It was, it was just a, a lovely orchestrated event, and it was a beautiful, uh, cool, sunny, wonderful Iowa day. And so I'm guessing there was at least twenty to 25,000 people there. And when we got in the Coliseum, hmm, the two most apparent uh, energy fields there, overwhelmingly the red Ron Paul t-shirts, overwhelmingly. I took pictures of the inside the Coliseum, and it's sort of a sea of red, almost as if you went to a Nebraska football team or something where, where the color was red. Uh, it was almost overwhelmingly red with quite quite a lot of evidence of um, Palenti's green t-shirts but not nearly not nearly um, the red so we heard um, Rick Centauri's talk and the and the response of the people and then you listened to some other people and then uh, Ron Paul came on and I will tell you the response to Ron Paul was overwhelming overwhelming cheering, standing, clapping, a sea of red uh, to many of the things he was saying, particularly in, in relationship to the Patriot Act, to our rights, the truth about the wars, all the money being spent on the wars, the truth about the financial crisis, and um, it very much in alignment with what I've come to know and believe. And it was such a great vibration of an experience to be in that energy. It was really, really nice. And then there were a couple more speakers, and we heard, uh, we stayed and we listened to um, Tim Palente. And um, not so much of an impassioned speech, but definitely a presence in the green. Um, we did not hear Michelle Bachman. I believe she uh, spoke before that. However, how could it be that you're walking around in this field of people exploring the entire area and seeing minimal, if any, Michelle Bachman supporters? And yet, as you all know, if you've listened to the news, huh? Michelle Bachman got one, the Iowa straw poll. And Paul, Paul, Ron Paul, yay, who's hardly mentioned, even though he came in a very, very strong second by only two or three hundred votes, according to what they said. They couldn't really deny Ron Paul. He was such a powerful presence. He, he was the overriding energy there in support of the people, the people who the people supported. And um, yet, of course, you know, all they talk about is that Michelle Bachman won the Iowa straw poll. I felt like I must have been on an alien planet. And that the governor, uh, or, or the Florida, Rick Perry, I guess his name is, who wasn't even there but announced his candidacy. On and on and on. That's all the media talked about. So, you know, two things are clear to me that I wanted to share with you today. It was great for me to really confirm the total illusion <laughs> of the news media. Um, and But yet, to be in such a great heart space to come away from there so lifted and so knowing that there is this groundswell of energy, of awakeness on the planet now as we move into the ship that's palpable. And how it'll play out, I don't know. It does no good to point fingers. Everybody's responsible for every single thing they experience. So um, what I found interesting listening to all the speeches, there's there was a whole lot of finger pointing. Of course, there are Republicans, a whole lot of finger pointing at Obama. Not once did Ron Paul point the finger at any individual. He he pointed the finger at what's come to be in our nation and and how and gave you know a lot of good um, things on how we can change, but. Um, as we know, we are all responsible for our own reality. So although I was rocked and shook <laughs> by the media uh, sharing of the Iowa straw poll, to have been there in person was uh, a vibrant, awakening, alive experience that showed me 
what's really going on and it felt good and i will tell you no matter who was supporting who the people walking around that event were happy people smiling sharing dancing together um, so I felt it was a deep, uh, in, in the heartland, a deep experience of integration that I just wanted to share with all of you. And how can you take that personally inside yourself? It is the feeling of what you know inside of yourself that is the reality. And if I ever doubted it, which really I haven't, but this was just such a great example. So hope you enjoy my sharing. Uh, if I can do it, I'll post you a picture of the Colosseum with the Sea of Red. And um, let's just keep on, let's keep this energy on of our truth, of what we believe, of the unity consciousness, because it's making a huge difference. Have a great week, and we'll see you again next week.